The gravy train, that is. Would Madame condescend to dance? Oh, maybe later. And would you be so kind as to put me on a dance card? And me. <laughs> Fine. The more the merrier. But I must warn you, I sweat. Delicious. Please sweat near me. Sir, Madame, it is such a pleasure to welcome you to our home. A pleasure and an honor. Please, not so formal. Your dance card. Booked up. Shall I put you down for a cancellation? I assure you that if you can fit this gentleman in, you won't regret it. Now here's a thought. Everyone, let's continue the festivities tomorrow night. You are all invited to my villa. It will be a real Marsovian party. We'll have our food, our music, our dancing. You are all welcome. And then, Monsieur, I will dance with you all night. All night is too much. I forbid it. How natural you are, the flower of my Sophia. Why, well, thank you, Baron. We've all become so over-sophisticated, so Parisian. There's only one of our countrymen that has retained the wild, free spirit of our homeland. Oh, really? Yes, Prince Danilovich. You compare me with the prince. I, no, I, it, it's it true was a, that the prince and I are, were, maybe, two of a kind. But nothing came of it, and that's that. Nothing came of what? I said nothing! No, it's nothing. I'm sure it wasn't nothing. <laughs> Give her your arm to the Will you come into the next room for some champagne? Allow me. Well then, shall we? <laughs> All this attention. Wealth does have its privileges. I'll go in with you, Baron. You look safe enough. Names do not matter, I take
I am here as promised, so where is the Baron? I have no time to inform His Excellency who is deep in conversation with Madame Glavari. No, <laughs> Sonia Glavari, is she here? Uh, not that matters. Tell me, Niche, what is this perilous mission they have for me that could not wait until tomorrow? His Excellency said something about earning millions. Really? <laughs> well, spending them is more my thing, but I'll try anything once. Very good, I shall announce you. Uh, no, Niche, please, not yet. I don't know what it is, but feeling a bit uh, lightheaded. <laughs> That'll be the champagne? No, that's not it. Champagne's fine, but... Niche, <laughs> I have been on a bit of a bender. I have not slept all weekend, so a little nap first, if you don't mind. Very good. I shall announce you later. Nish, you are a gem. <sighs> Splendid. At last I can relax. A life of leisure does take it out of me. Oh, no, 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 no,
one person. Olga, my wife, she's always flirting, and at last I have proof that it's not all in my imagination. Thank God. Give it to me. I'm glad you're here, Natalie. Now, this fan, this fan has a love you written on it. It does! And it, it, it belongs to my wife. It does not! But, my dear child, it is your fan, is it not? No, that I look at it closely, absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. But who wrote I love you on it? Who indeed? Who else but my husband? Oh, yes, who else but her husband? <laughs> oh, my husband. Well, if that's that... If that's true, of course it is. I can leave you completely reassured. Forgive me, Excellency, but I must go see my darling Olga. Olga, oh please go! <laughs> Thank you, dear. That was sweet of you. Now, if you give me that fan, I'll return it to Madame Novikovich discreetly. Oh, no, 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 no. Wouldn't it be better if I did that? No, but would it be proper? Ah, Prince Daniela. Your Excellency, Madame. Uh, I'd love to take you back to the party myself, but. Affairs of state and all that. Uh, Monsieur de Jolidon, would you offer Her Excellency your arm? With great pleasure. <laughs> oh, without pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so no, there you are at last. Body, not in mind, Your Excellency. I have something of great importance to discuss with you, a delicate mission. As long as it's not pleasure. No, no not work, only pleasure. <laughs> Do not hurt me. I have to think before I give my voice. Now in what direction shall I make 
exception, I don't see Prince Daniel. Yes, I noticed. And I particularly wanted him to be here. I thought you would enjoy each other's company. Oh, I'm sure he has much more exciting places to go, more interesting things to do. The ladies in Paris adore him wherever he goes. Why would he want to come here? Dear lady, you're too modest because of your beauty, your, your charm. Everything. Oh, you are too kind. Oh, well, he will be missed, but we will enjoy ourselves without him. Everyone, won't you join me in the dining hall for some traditional Marsovian mulled wine and cabbage strudel? <laughs> My strategy is working, but where is he? Bad news, he's not coming. What? What? Coming? But that's impossible. He said under no circumstances would he arrive, and ten oxen couldn't drag him here, not even if you yourself were among them. But the situation is critical. He is our ace in the deck. Without him, we lose the widow. He's got to come. You're arguing with the wrong man. His answer was no. Absolutely, positively no. Your Excellency, here I am. Well, I guess he changed his mind. Mr. Nilo, better late than never. I was just saying that we had nothing to worry about. Prince Daniel would never leave the fatherland in the lurch. Remember, you are to stay close to the widow, and she will weigh the unwanted foreign suitors. Of course. There's one suitor you better get to work on immediately. To Count de Jolieton. Camille? That mere wisp of a man? Yes, you must dip it in the butt. Make sure she's not interested in the least. A secret in his past, perhaps? A love affair. You don't have to look far to find that. <laughs> An affair. With a uh, <laughs> uh, woman. You don't say. Ooh. <laughs> with, with, with respect, a eh? married lady. Oh, 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 married lady. Tell me more. Who is the married lady? <laughs> <laughs> with respect, sir, I uh, really couldn't say. <laughs> then we must find out. And I have this bag for you. It says, I love you. Baron? No, it's for you to use. Let me do the dogs. We'll find out who his married lady is and then threaten him with informing her husband. That should keep him away from her widow. That much I can do. I told you I'll keep those Frenchmen away from her. I shall never hear these three words from me. I love you. Never. Well, I think it's safe to say that I have this situation under control. Look, is there a widow now? Be charming. Fascinating. Oh, Prince, you've come. I thought you might be avoiding me. You forget that being here is part of my job. Oh, no, I don't suppose you would actually want to be here. Are we not at war? How can we be at war if you're not here to fight it out with me? A good cavalier stays on the battlefield.
no idea how sensible I am being. Be cunning, His Excellency said. Very well, let's be cunning. Oh, here's Madame Novikovitch, our prime suspect. Let's see if this man belongs to her. Madame Novikovitch! Prince! Have you lost something? I don't think so. Oh, yes, you have your heart and something else besides. Prince! Don't worry, I'm discreet. I just want to warn you, Madame. Your friend is about to marry the widow. Sophia, she's going to marry! Fancy that, not her then. Here's Madame Kodshaw, perhaps it's hers. Uh, Madame Kodshaw! Yes, Prince? Have you lost something? I don't think so. Yes, you have. Your heart in something else, something you can snap shut. What on earth do you mean? Ah, well, don't worry, I'm discreet. I just want to warn you, Madame, your friend is about to marry the widow. This guy is going to marry the widow? Who told you? You just did. I did? That cat can't be Excuse me. She was the class good is she? Well, fancy that. So who was Camille writing to? Ooh, what a lovely fan. Surely not her. It says on the fan, I love you. Oh, Prince. Let me place it where it belongs. At last! At last! It must be her. Did you sense it, Prince? Or did you know? And what, the way your affections were tending? Do you feel it, Donny Lowe? I'm terribly sorry. Do you feel it too? How close you are to my heart! I think there's been some confusion on needing this back. Close to your heart is far too close for comfort. I try not to think about it at all. What can you your husband? Please, be discreet. So who does this confounded fan belong to? I'm warning you, keep away from the widow. I'm a devil with a saber. No match for my pistol. Perfect. I can deal with both these fools in one fell swoop. So, shaping up for a fight, are we? Perfect. I must go talk to Madame Glavari. Certain vital information about, about me. About me. About both of you. She has to know about the imminent threat of a duel between you, Marquis de Cascada, and, if you'll excuse me, Kaja. Kaja? Yes, he knows everything about you and his wife. Sweet <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you uh, gave Cascada some bad news, huh? <laughs> I have some bad news for you too. There's another <laughs> imminent duel between you and Novikovich. Novikovich. Yes, he knows everything about you and his wife. Ned, speak of the devil. Welcome, welcome, fellows. We were just sure that you wouldn't do it at that. We were just discussing the delicate matter of how confusing it is to know what our lovely ladies want. It is so impossible to know what is going on inside their heads. They have gone completely out of hand. More uncontrollable by the What do you do about that man on his own? You're telling me? Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Such a stimulating conversation. But was there ever a creature more exasperating than
sneaking about behind the lines, are we? I enjoy the element of surprise. Surely you don't mean to surprise me by kneeling before me and asking me a simple question that begins with three very important words. I would never get down on my knee. You did once. You said yes. And your uncle said no. You were angry. And you left me on the other side of the country. I went to speak to my uncle in person and tell him how wrong he was about you. To tell him how proud I would be to have you for my wife and how proud Marsovia would be as well. You said that? I would have been mad as you married someone else. I never knew. And now you're in the market to marry again. I can marry if I want to. And I shall dance at your wedding. I shall dance Marsovian dances from our homeland, the land I thought you loved so much. I will dance Marsovian until the day I die.
then chanted with the witch of the wood, I suppose. No, it's engaged. Engaged? With a lady? A lady? Oh, no, no, no. Well, no, in the sense of yes. Um... Of course, a running room. <laughs> with whom? With whom? Digitally done. Oh, what have I said? Digitally done with a married lady. Now we'll find out who she is. Bravo, you'll get a medal for this. <laughs> Mish! There's a door around back. Go ahead and lock it quickly. I'll let them out first, then I'll lock it. Oh, guess what? The Jolly Gong's lady has been captured. Captured? Who is she? I don't know, but we've got them locked in. Let's listen at the door. I can hear him. He's, he's saying something. Excellency, it is nice to eavesdrop. Oh, come now, no one will see. He's saying something about marriage. Yes, but who's the woman? I'll take a peek through the keyhole. <laughs> I can't see her face. But let me have a look. No, I want to see. I need to see who she is. I bet it's that idiot Codger's wife. <laughs> oh, 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 she's turning. I can almost see her. Well? Huh? Huh? What? Who is it? It's my wife. Yes, it's my wife. I'm the idiot Codger. Your Excellency, you must be mistaken. Oh no, if only I were. There is no consolation. You're doing it for the fatherland. The fatherland be damned! Open up! Open up! Open up! Open up! Oh, oh, oh.
try to look as English as I can. I'm a gay Parisian, and far above the common mark, your sweet race now.
Very well, the fatherland will not suffer. I will not marry Count de Jolidon. What? <laughs> but you had a rendezvous with him. He had a rendezvous, but not with me. With another woman, a married woman. I merely stepped in to spare her reputation. Another woman, bless her! Bless her heart, I adore her, whoever she is. But at the time I was out of my mind with rage. Who are you? Why? Because. Say it for God's sake. Can't you say those three words? Sonia. Say it. You are out of your mind with rage because. I mean, your hand in marriage. Well, I'm flattered, but 
I should tell you that according to the terms of my late husband's will, if I were to marry again, I would lose my entire fortune. Uh, well, perhaps I was a bit hasty. Sonia, my darling, if you married again, you'd have no money at all? None. Sonia, my darling Sonia, I love you. I, I love you. At last. So you'd have her without the money? Yes. Indeed. According to my late husband's will, all that money will become the property of the sovereign nation of Marsovia. And that, as you say, is that! That was the sweetest, meanest trick. But what about this fan? But you haven't read what I wrote on it. I love you. The other side. I am a respectable wife. Oh, Natalie, I've been such a fool. Could you ever forgive me? I'll try. Uh, women! I got it! <laughs>